Hey everybody, it's Ed. That's Gator. Uh, <laughs> Reed. We just got done a long day of picking since uh, 7. We only got 5 rows done. We only got 5 rows done. 28 bins. 28 50 pound bins or whatever they are. Uh, not a lot of peppers. We don't know what we're doing. But uh, Stephen, you know, everybody, there were a lot of people out there talking about Stephen McLaren and what things he said on his uh, chocolate bootleg video. So I just, uh, I figured I'd give my two cents since I, uh, I'm the one growing it. Uh, about you what? Grow yeah, I might grow a thing or two. Uh, about 17 months ago, right? About 17 months ago, Stephen approached us to stabilize what he gave us was an F3 for a third generation of the chocolate food. Now, uh, there's a lot of people out there who say, you know, they use those F numbers and they don't really know what they're saying. Some do, I'm not, but uh, the way we do it is if we get a cross and we plant a seed and that planting comes out the way that the cross we had looked at, we call that the first generation. So let's just use Stevens following the same thing as us, and he has an F3. So approximately 530 days ago, Stephen gave us his seeds. We immediately put them into our growing meat, which is not soil, it's the way I grow things. I learned it from biologists. It gives us good germination. So, uh, if you are pretty good at what you're doing, you can go from seedling to ripe prod somewhere between 100 and 120 days on a Chinese. And uh, let's just add 10 more days. Okay? So if we add 10 more days to that, that is 130 days. Okay? It could be a holiday in there. Too, you know? Okay, holiday too. So let's add five more just for holidays. So 135 days from seed to a pod that we can get seeds out of. And if you divide 530 by that, it's a little bit over four. <laughs> just under four, whatever. So that's how we go from a third generation seed to a sixth and seventh generation seed. I use greenhouses. I have a lot of them. Some people have seen pictures of them. You haven't seen pictures of all of them, just like I take pictures in the same fields every time because I don't want everybody to know where my stuff is. The media goes to two places, my friends go to two places, my employees go to the rest of them, okay? That's just the way it's going to be. So it's simple math. I know a lot of you who have uh, been educated in the I participated, therefore I get a great education system don't understand it but for those who do do the division okay i've been arguing with people over what hey that that math doesn't work you know common core math yeah common core two plus two equals whatever you want here's an a you tried really hard yeah okay so that's how we're doing with the bootla when we decide to release the seeds, because I came to a business arrangement with Stephen, I will decide when those seeds are, are, are released with bread. Uh, they'll only be available at Pucker Butt Pepper Company and at Buckeye Pepper Company. Those are the only two places we release our seeds. Anybody else is lying to you. Okay? Uh, HP 56, turd pepper, any of my other hotter peppers, if you are buying seeds out there, they are not mine, <laughs> okay? We have never let them go off the farm except to six people, maybe there's two others that no one knows about, but uh, those people all gave them back, all right? Because they don't want to be involved in the drama. Uh, the people, Can we just ask people not to ask about it? Though? Yeah, don't there. ask. We're not going to give out seeds. Yeah, we'll let you know. We are not giving out pods. Yeah. And anybody who is trying to sell it or make money off of my name is lying to you. Lying. Okay? I did not give them seeds to release. Uh, it's the last time I'm going to say it because we've been explaining this for two years. Uh, so, when those seeds are ready to release, <laughs> they'll be at Bugger Buck Pepper Company and the Buckeye Pepper Company. Nowhere else. All right. Third thing. Uh, new 
sausage. Yes, we are going to release the chocolate flake again this year. We will release it in production mode. There will be plenty of it. There will be a lower price. It's not a fundraiser. Uh, we're going to be releasing gator squeezes this year. Gator, gator squeezes. squeezes. And, What's uh, that? Yeah, well, it might be a really hot, hot, hot sauce. On, on a lot of reaper squeezes? Yeah, probably. Okay. But uh, we will be releasing the scotch bonnet sauce this fall that Brett came up with. There's a few others. We're gonna we're rolling back out our salsas, the uh, Linda's PMS, uh, the ball blend salsa. We're gonna have we're gonna re-release the horseradishes now that it's season again. Uh, we're gonna do there's a lot of stuff coming out. And frankly uh, we haven't been doing much because our harvest is magnificent. God is great. Okay, God is awesome to us. Uh, literally, we've been harvesting for what? Five days straight this week? Or four days in this field, one day in the upper field. Well, to finish the upper field. But in four days here, we've gone through 13 rows of peppers. Um, a full crew, so it's just been crazy. Uh, mash galore. We produced more mash this year than the last 10 years combined. We've got more seeds coming out. We, if we decide this is the case, and we've both been praying on it, we might release the Ed's Unintentional or Unwanted Crosses series. Because I've got about 50 pounds of seeds that we're never ever going to grow. So someone else might want to. Please take sell them. Sell them, yeah. please. Okay, I'm going to sell them. I don't want to grow anything. I don't, yeah. We're, we're going to go next year, we're growing 10 or 12 peppers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I say that every year. Yeah, just 10 varieties yeah. this year. Yeah, right. And that field. Uh, some really exciting news. Uh, we've made some, uh, some really good friends here in the community. And uh, the best farmers that I know, that I'm aware of, are going to be growing all of our peppers. Even though we can't grow okra. <laughs> well, I, I, I can. Well, uh, I have problems with it. Yeah. And let, let, one last thing, just one last thing. A lot of people tout one agricultural school as the only agricultural school that can possibly know anything about peppers. I happen to do business with that, that school, and I donate to them. And I'm not doing business with them this year because, frankly, I couldn't afford the fee, and I had too many, too much stuff to do uh, uh, here. Yeah, we had we had to add employees because of the 60x expansion we did. Yay! Uh, so, uh, but not only do we do business with them, uh, we also do stuff with agricultural colleges in, let's see, California, Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, uh, let's see, Ohio, Michigan, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania, Ohio. yeah, Ohio. Yes, we do work with Ohio State University, but only on their agricultural side. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do work, there's uh, New York and, uh, let's see, New Jersey, okay? A lot of those schools have been around a lot longer than you know, one people tout as the expert. They are experts at chilies, but chilies are just a plant, and a lot of agricultural schools have been studying them for a long time. Uh, so, when you say that this school's data is good, but another school, say like oh, Clemson, been around since what, 1850 or something, 30, whatever it is. But their agricultural data isn't, or Winthrop's, which has been around for 120, 130 years, their data isn't. You're kind of mocking the whole system, not just those schools. Uh, what we do with universities is very important. We're giving students real world work instead of lab work that they get off a shelf. And a lot of kids are getting really good jobs because of what they do with us. Can we get them to pick? No, they won't pick. I don't know why. None of them want to pick. Okay. Yeah, even the college kids don't want to pick. High school yeah. kids don't want to pick. Okay, except for Justin. Well, he's different. He's different, yeah. Uh, 
but you know it's very very important so the data from one school is pretty much the same as the data from another school they all follow the same scientific method okay that's what schools do all right so don't let someone fool you and tell you that this school is more important than that school they're all the same and they're equally as important okay go to school learn something and if you can't do it teach it you know uh, well, yeah. or preach it on Facebook or YouTube or whatever you know I did just think of something because I said YouTube one person has gotten the uh, death strain pepper that person ate it uh, I don't remember if they threw up or not but if they happen to pick through their vomit to get seeds then maybe there's a seed or two out there but I, I don't think they did. They're very trustworthy and they have integrity as far as that goes. So, is there a statistical chance that it happened? It all depends on how long that pepper lasted in their gut. <laughs> because human, a, human, human stomach acid is a lot different than bird. Uh, so, uh, you know, chances are nothing. <laughs> nothing's out there. But, there's always a chance that someone picked through their, that one person who ate it picked through their vomit and uh, took a seat. But I doubt it highly. Can we just say that they do have it? Please contact us. We'll have our lawyer call you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's hilarious. I'm just kidding. You know, I've never accused anybody of being dishonest except for, well, two seat sellers. Oh, well, we're on seat sellers. Hey, those guys who are out there talking about how they're going to destroy me, Okay, <laughs> I, I laugh at that because God's the only one who can make or, or break anything, and I, I leave it up to him. And if you're the tool he uses to destroy me, then so be it. But uh, one of you guys wants my new seeds, so you've been sharing PMs with us. Also, the guys who have left Pepper Wars that you were PM and have shared PMs with us. And I'm, you know, I'm not, I, don't get me wrong, I really don't care what other people think about me. I'm very happy when people share something with me so I know who's my friend and who's not my friend. Uh, but one of you wants my seed, so has been sharing everything. So I'm, you know, your plan is awry because I'm not, I'm not going to share the seeds, okay? When they come out, they'll come out to everyone. Hey, can I give a shout out? Yeah, give a shout out. Shout out to Led Zeppelin for the bumper music. Oh. Greatest rock band of all time. Yeah. Greatest rock band. Uh, shout out to uh, Buckeye Peppers the pep for sending us their peppers. And uh, uh, are we allowed to say forest? Sure, blowtorch pepper. Blowtorch peppers and Wendy and Steven and the other guys who are growing for us who are sending stuff out. Uh, I'll check with you before and then next video we'll, we'll give you a shout out. But yeah, it's been a bumper year for the Puckerbell Pepper Company. I don't, you know, I'm just hoping we don't get some frost this weekend. So uh, you got Advil, man. I got Advil, man. I'm hurting. I can't move. <laughs> you can't move. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get these in the fridge and get back up to the store and get that stuff in the fridge too. I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. I love you all. I uh, can't wait to see you at the next show. If anybody wants to pick, contact Brett at PuckerBuckPeppercompany.com. I, <laughs> I know you do. Everybody says they want to pick. No one does. Uh, love you. Take care. Bye-bye.